jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And thank you very much for joining me and for all your support. And I really, really hope that this session as well as all the others that I record is useful to you. What I think is one of the benefits of this podcast is the amount of different recordings that there are which means that if there's one that really kind of touches you, you know, in a, in a way that maybe just saps you out into sleep for whatever reason, maybe you're not even uh, sure why that particular recording has that effect, then you can listen to either as a backup or I guess you could just listen to the same one every day every night so it's partly why I do so many recordings is that the opportunity to hopefully find maybe that one recording really does it for you, that really gives you what you need, you know, kind of hits the spot, as it were, that recording that whenever you listen to it, just the beginning of the recording, activates that part of your mind that just shuts down and the more you listen to that same recording even little things like the background sounds perhaps the sound of a plane going past and I know that's not ideal they are quite a long way away, they're not like, they're not inches away from the roof, they're quite high in the sky, and I have no control over the, <laughs> the planes or the airports, but something like that, or the sound of the wind on that particular recording can send you even deeper into a sense of comfortable sleep and I know that especially during the summer some of I suppose a few of my recordings have had the sounds of birds singing in the background um, because I was making the recordings at night and you know in the summer the nights are very short the birds wake up very, uh, very, very early. And that's not to everyone's liking, I realise. So I had a couple of people complain about that. And the thing is, ideally there would be no background sound there would be complete silence ideally I would be recording this in a recording studio perfect quality sound zero background but that's not how these recordings are produced I make them in my home and so there's going to be some background sounds, so I hope that you understand. 
understand and maybe I don't mention it every time because it's a bit boring to listen to explaining why there's sounds of nature or <laughs> the sound of my little ferret running in sometimes although I do try and do these when he's asleep that's Andre that is Andre the ferret I think he's the most famous ferret in the world Andre is <laughs> one of them or Freddy the ferret I think he's quite well known so maybe even this recording could have some kind of special significance could be the recording where at the beginning I talk about why there's sometimes background sounds and even though there's no logic behind why that would be sleep inducing there doesn't need to be logic because there's no logic behind why generally people may have difficulty to sleep sometimes it's very logical but sometimes it really isn't so that's what this podcast is for that's what these recordings are for. An opportunity to just listen to my voice. Maybe listening to the background sounds. Because perhaps my background sounds are more sleepy than your own but maybe your own background sounds could be also sleep inducing because unless you're listening to this with headphones possibly have background sounds of your own added to this recording which means every time you listen to this recording it will be slightly different It's okay because the honor rules about this situation because it's just about you relaxing. a 
guys have said in the past. Perhaps you could just enjoy that feeling of laying on your bed, your body is supported by the bed. safe to close your eyes and let go and enjoy the feeling of your body 